guys welcome in or welcome back to my channel my name is Kimberly Elise and in today's video I'm going to be doing a get ready with me hair and makeup edition so we're starting off on dry hair and I'm using the do mousse stuff texture foam to style my hair I'm basically going to saturate my hair with this product until all my strands are completely saturated while using this product, I basically like to do a coil out. So I'm just gonna take random pieces of hair, coil them around my fingers and let them go. My hair is cut in a tapered cut. So the sides are much shorter than the top of my hair. So for the sides, I'm just gonna pick up random pieces, whichever can fit around my finger and coil them around. I'm gonna do that all the way around the sides and the back. So I'm basically just going to coil random pieces of hair along the sides and the back around my finger to style the top of my hair. I'm going to separate that with my fingers and then separate those pieces into smaller portions and coil them around my fingers. So it's basically a coil out guys. I absolutely love the curl definition that this product gives. I actually have a full review and demo of this product up on my channel. If you want to check it out, I'll leave that link in the description box to that video. So I'm going to separate a piece of the hair in the top and then start separating that piece into smaller sections and coil them around my fingers until the whole top is coiled out. After we have the top coiled out, it should start to look a little something like this. And then I'm just going to take my fingers and zhuzh up those roots a little bit to get rid of those separation parts that you see. I'm also going to use the same product to mold down my edges, guys. I absolutely love this product. It has a nice flexible hole. It has no crunch. And this product does not flake in my hair throughout the week. And this is what the hair is looking like before it completely dries. And while we're waiting on it to dry, we're gonna go in with our makeup. And to start with our makeup, I'm gonna start by priming my face. To prime my face, I'm using the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. Now guys, this primer is discontinued. I'm so sorry, I'll try to find something comparable and link it in the description box for you. And for our eyeshadow primer, I'm going in with the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. I'm just gonna pat this on my eyelid to ensure that our eyeshadows don't move throughout the day. And next, I'm gonna be going in with my brows. And to do my brows, I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Eyebrow Pencil. I'm using this in the shade six. I'm just gonna start creating small hair-like strokes until I have my brows completely filled in. Thank you. 
guys i also have an eyebrow tutorial uploaded on my channel as well i'll link that link to that video in the description box if you want to check it out Next, I'm gonna be cleaning up underneath those brows. And to do that, I'm using my favorite concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I use this in the shade Rich. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that concealer to the brush and go underneath my eyebrows until I have a nice clean and crisp line. I'm also gonna drag that concealer down on my eyelid as well to act as an eyeshadow base. And for eyeshadows, guys, I'm going in with my MAC Custom Palette. Basically, I purchased the eyeshadows separately than the eyeshadow palette. I purchased the Pro Pan eyeshadows and placed them in the palette in the shades that I like to create this eyeshadow palette. That first shade you see me going in with is the shade Saddle, and I'm just working that shade into my crease, going back and forth in windshield wiper motions until I have that applied to my crease. This next shade is the shade Embark, and I'm working that in my outer V and up into my crease as well. I'm also gonna extend that eyeshadow color a little bit past my outer V. You just wanna go back and forth with this shade until you build up the intensity that you like. You also want to make sure that you're blending out any harsh lines with your shadows. I feel like the key to having a flawless eyeshadow look is to blend out those harsh lines as much as possible. This eyeshadow look is going to be a three shade eyeshadow look. I absolutely love creating these three shadow eyeshadow looks because they're super easy for every day. And now I'm just taking that first brush which has the shade Saddle on it, and I'm blending out those edges to make sure it's blended in well. And for our lid shade, I'm going in with the shade Woodwinked, and I'm gonna apply that to my lid. I'm not gonna extend this up past my crease, so I'm extending it from the crease down onto my lid. 
and I'm basically just going to apply that until I get the intensity that I like as well. And to blend out that shade, I'm taking that first blender brush with no additional product on it and I'm gonna blend out the edges so that it blends in well. And now I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. The eyeliner that I'm using is the Benefits Roller Liner in the shade Black. I'm just gonna apply that and create a wing on the eye. And once I have the eyeliner done, it's time to go with the lashes. The lashes that I'm using, guys, is a random pair of lashes that I purchased off of Amazon. You just wanna go in with your favorite pair of lashes. Guys, I also have a eyelash tutorial on my channel as well, and I will link that in the description box if you're looking for a quick and easy way to apply your lashes. And now that our lashes are applied, we're gonna go back to the face. For the face, we're gonna be using the foundation. The foundation that I'm using is the Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. And I use this in the shade Truffle. I'm gonna apply that to a flat top buffer brush, stipple that onto my face and blend it out until it's nice and seamless. Guys, when matching my foundation, I like to match my foundation to the outer edges of my face because it is much darker than the center part of my face. So while I match my foundation, I'll match it to the outer edges and sometimes I'll match it to my neck as well. The center part of my face is much lighter and it's a completely different shade than the outer edges, my ears and my neck. So I'm just gonna blend that out until it's nice and seamless. And now it's time to go back in and add some of that dimension back to our face. And to do that, I'm going to highlight the inner portion of my face using that same concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Rich. 
I'm just gonna place that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, my cupid's bow and my chin. And then I'm gonna go in and blend that out with a beauty blender. This just basically adds dimension back to the face that we washed out with the foundation. And to set that concealer, I'm going in with the Cody Aspen powder. I'm gonna place that everywhere I place the concealer. Guys, I don't usually bake with my powder. I usually just place it in the areas where the concealer is and then push it into my skin with the Beauty Blender. Now guys, it's time to go in and contour. I'll be contouring with the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Caviar. Guys, contouring and highlighting is my absolute favorite part of my foundation routine. I feel like after you highlight and contour, you add that dimension back to your face and the look just starts coming together. So I'm gonna apply this match stick along the hollows of my cheeks and around my forehead. And then I'm gonna go in with an angled brush and blend that out. This is going to further add that dimension back to my face. I absolutely love this contour stick, guys. It's deep enough for my dark skin and it actually shows up and gives a beautiful finish to the skin. And to clean up underneath that contour, I'm taking a little bit of powder and I'm applying that in the hollows of my cheeks to further snatch those cheeks in. Now 
and to bronze guys i'm going in with the fenty beauty bronzer in the shade thick mint this is going to add some of that warmth back to my face after using that neutral tone contour so you basically just want to go around everywhere you apply that contour and apply your bronzer to add some warmth back to your face I like to contour my nose with my bronzer. I feel like my contour is too dark or too harsh to contour my nose. So I take a little bit of that bronzer on the brush, pinch the tip of the brush and contour my nose. And to marry everything together, I'm going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark Deepest. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. I absolutely love the finish that this powder has. It gives like a neutral radiant tone to the face and it blends everything together and gets rid of all those harsh lines on the face. And now it's time for our blush and I'm using my favorite blush. It is the MAC blush in the shade Raisin. And to highlight the inner corners of my eye, I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Highlighter Relo Reloaded in the shade Make an Impact. And I'm just going to place that in the inner corners of my eye to brighten and open up my eyes a little bit. And for mascara, I'm using the Lancome Mascara. And I'm just using this to blend my natural lashes in with the false lashes. And I'm also going to apply this on my bottom lashes to bring those out as well. For lips, I'm going in with the Morphe Lip Liner in the shade Richie and the MAC Liquid Lipstick. The shade of the Liquid Lipstick is the shade Feel So Grand. It is my absolute favorite red, guys. It's similar to the MAC Ruby Woo, but this is in the Retro Liquid Lipstick formula. And to set my face, I'm going in with the Max Fix Plus. I'm going to spray that all over. And as you can see, this is pretty much the finished look, guys. I absolutely love this look. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification so that you don't miss when I post a new upload, guys. I feel like this makeup look is natural for every day. It is completely sexy on the face as well. Thank you.